Hey guys, it's me Imad from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel. So today we are going to learn about how to make a CD circuit within the circuit wizard. As we know that in CD circuit all the components or elements are in a single pathway means that there is only one path on which all the components are placed. So let's start making our simple circuit. So first you need to go to file and click on new. Now you have two options electronics project and elementary circuit. So click on electronics project and click OK. On right hand side you can see this gallery option. So we can see all the components here. We, we can take any sort of components for our circuit simulation. So first we will take our 9 volt power supply that is in the form of a battery. After it we need to take some resistors or we can also uh, think for like uh, what it is called as the lamps if we want. Okay, so we can go and we, we can take our signal lamp. Okay, so it is of 6 volt. No problem. We can lower our power supply. Double click on the battery. Change it to 6 volt. Click on this bulb. Press Ctrl C and Ctrl V. In order to uh, take it. Okay, and again Ctrl V. So that. Okay, like this. Okay, now. You can see that all the elements are in a single path. There is just one path for the flow of current. First current will uh, move from with this positive terminal of the battery to the uh, BL1, signal lamp 1, then BL2, and then BL3, and then into the negative terminal of the battery. So now I will run it out. Now you can see that all of our bulbs are illuminated. But uh, as uh, all are in series, so we can go for 12 volt. Now you will see it's okay. Now they are working fine. We can even go for 18 volts. All the 6 volts must be dropped across each one. Okay, now they are glowing. Okay, now. Now one more. Uh, property of series uh, circuit is that it contain the same amount of current on all the points so we will uh, search for it so okay now we will place two amp meters on two different points and we will see that either they are they are noticing the same amount of current so virtual instruments and then we will take our ammeter we will them like this rotate them out okay now copy and paste again place uh, first emitter in between bl1 and bl2 and the other in between bl2 and bl3 okay now in between two different points okay emitters are always placed in series because uh, current is always through the component so Okay, now okay now this is BL1, BL2 and BL3. So here you can see that both the ammeters are just mining the same amount of current. So now it is our series circuit. So you now you can simulate it, it is your circuit wizard. So thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe.